Oh my God, I love this woman. She is a, a survivor of 1970s playground equipment, <laughs> cars without seat belts, and spam. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Miss Stacy Gustafson. Oh my God. Thank you very much. How y'all doing tonight? I am not doing so well. I barfed just a little bitty bit before I came on. Would you mind coming up to the stage for a second? Could you just hold this for me? <laughs> so anyway, last week a woman fondled my breast and put me in an awkward position. I was getting a mammogram. And if you're like me, you put off getting that mammogram for as long as possible. It hurts. It does. I don't care what anybody tells you. It hurts a lot. Oh, crap. <laughs> but that little, head, that little voice inside your head says, just get it over with. Get it done. It won't be so bad this time. So I made an appointment with my doctor. I walked into the office. They pointed me into the room where the dressing area was and the lady threw me this flimsy little shirt, told me to strip to the waist and wait for the technician. So within a few moments, a really burly, crabby looking lady, you know the type, she came out and she pointed in my direction and she said, next. <laughs> oh crap. I followed her into the exam area and I took one look around at all that equipment and then I said, Welcome to the torture chamber. <laughs> and then she said, Oh, you're going to be one of those. Are you going to complain the whole time? Would you rather get cancer? You must have a low tolerance for pain. Lady, that is a gigantic leap, I'm telling you. But I said nothing because I have heard of a case where that machine accidentally stops in the middle, leaving you trapped in there for a little bit. So I kept it to myself. So then she came up to me and she pushed my breast into the machine and she thrust my head to the right and she said, stick out your butt, suck in your gut, hold your breath. Is that all? Do you want me to recite the national anthem? Sing the alphabet backwards? And then she proceeded to manhandle my breasts like a butcher on a slab of beef. She squeezed, prodded, and groped me into submission. Where is my small talk? <laughs> then she said, don't move. Where the heck would I go? If I fall, I'm going to be buying some different bras. So then the she went to the control panel, she pushed the button, the machine came down and squeezed me as flat as a Swedish pancake. And then I adjusted my leg, my weight to my other leg. And here she comes. I warned you not to move. This will go by a lot faster if you hold still, you big baby. And then when it was over, she threw me my gown, and she had one final word to say. I told you it wasn't a big deal. Aren't you ashamed for crying about it? And then I had to let her have it. I said, woman, for your information, I have an extremely high tolerance for pain. I have given birth to two babies over 10 pounds, one without any medication, I've had a shoulder surgery, a gallbladder attack, and I get my eyebrows waxed every other month. <laughs> now who's the baby? And I have one more thing to say. It still hurts. 
This message is not meant to endorse avoiding your mammogram. <laughs>